The griffin is among the most noble of all dual-natured mythological beasts, incorporating into itself the animal kings of both land and air, as well as evoking the invisible threads between earth, human, and sky divine. More pragmatically, it has long been known among savvy treasure hunters throughout the ancient world that wherever griffins are, there is gold as well. No one knows how the griffins find it, and some insist they feed the nuggets to their young. Appropriately, these people consider it a waste of perfectly good gold and take care to redress it. What's up folks, this is going to be my Total War Saga Troy Griffin Monster Hunt video. Fair warning, spoilers will be abound here, so if you don't want to ruin this quest for your own campaign, now is the time to click away. Early during your campaign, you will be given the option to send one of your heroes on an expedition to hunt one of the game's three mythological creatures. I'm not sure if this event happens on a specific turn or if there is something you can do to trigger it during the campaign. I've only done one playthrough so far which means I haven't investigated this any further. During my own campaign, the event triggered very early, around turn 15 or so if I'm not mistaken. However. I waited until much later before sending the expedition as I found my resources somewhat limited during the early stages of the campaign. In any case, in addition to sending one of your heroes, you are also given the option to hire 9 regiments to send along on the expedition. I believe these are limited to what units you currently have available for recruitment in your settlements, but I could be mistaken. They are also limited to what you are able to afford based on your available resources. It is also worth noting that upon completion of the expedition, your hero and any units you hired that survived the hunt will be placed beside your faction leader on the campaign map. It was a nice little bonus after completing the quest. Once you've commissioned the expeditionary force, you'll begin receiving news from them over the course of the next few end turns. Each time you receive word from the expedition, you will be given a brief story and a dilemma to resolve. Take care with these choices because each will grant both positive and negative bonuses to your forces which will be reflected in the final confrontation with whichever monster you're hunting. Personally, I thought this was a really cool feature and was a nice touch to a game that I barely even recognized from a year ago. The stories and choices reminded me of those old fantasy choose your own adventure books I used to read when I was a kid eons ago. You know, the ones where every path you choose leads to your imminent doom? Those books. But in all honesty, I had a lot of fun with this. I found that I couldn't wait to get an update on the expedition's progress, and in my opinion it was an, an amazing way to introduce these mythological creatures to the game. I'm really looking forward to going on hunts for the other two mythological beasts, Cerberus and the Hydra. And I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that for all of us, there is a DLC down the road that will add more special quests and mythological creatures for us to do battle with. Medusa and the Gorgons are just a couple that come to mind. But yeah, in all, very fun feature, lots of future potential, and who knows, we may even be looking at the beginnings of a whole new age of total war. One in ancient mythology. Such a majestic landscape, 
belies the danger that awaits you here, in the mountainous home of the Griffin Patriarch, a true monarch of the sky. Taming such a beast will be no easy task. Worse yet, you trespass here on Aramaspoi land, and they will stop at nothing to prevent you from stealing away their treasured prize. I wanted to share a few final thoughts with you. First, these quest battles showcase the best the AI can do while also giving us a glimpse of what the AI might be able to do in the future. It's an interesting situation, one where the AI forces are scripted to perform specific actions, but also have their innate programming commands that govern its behavior. It's a situation where when you play it for the first time, you really don't know what the AI will do. I just thought it was worth mentioning. I'm sure scripts could be created for different general types or even situations. Passive versus aggressive generals, patient versus reckless, for example. Sieges, river crossing, ambush situations, and so on could also have different scripts. Uh, would be nice if fighting different generals felt like you were fighting against a completely different AI. And who knows, maybe one day we will even get a machine learning AI. That is, if it isn't already in the works. However, if we do, uh, that should be right about around the same time that I retire from Total War completely. Anyway, uh, the last thing I did want to mention was the debate between fantasy and historical. And now, I suppose, between mythological and historical. Personally, I think it's fantastic. I haven't yet tried the full historical mode for Troy, but I have a feeling that I may be pleasantly surprised. I'm really looking forward to actual generals, bodyguards, uh, rather than the single entity heroes. Um, and personally, I love that Creative Assembly is putting forth the effort to give us all kinds of variety when it comes to Total War. Them introducing the first part of Troy which sort of blends the historical and the mythological and and then now they're separating it into two distinct sections it's almost like we get three games in one in a very sort of way and I mean you don't have to play all three of them but you know the option is there for you if you want um, I say bring it on keep the new mechanics and gameplay innovations coming historical fantasy mythological it's all total war to me maybe we'll even get futuristic total war. who knows thanks for watching folks if you enjoyed the video today be sure to leave a like and if you want me to make more content like this be sure to let me know in the comments i'm open to criticism and ideas after all these videos are for all of you have a great day stay safe and i'll see you soon ragnarok signing out